a yell or to see that it went on for uh, several hours and a lot of the debate centered around the who should even be at the negotiating table in the first place. On the one side, you had the Durham Association of Ed Educators sitting at the table, but then you also had another group of impacted staff walking out. In the end, the board was left to try and thread that needle and bring the groups together to try and uh, make a path forward. A crucial meeting as tensions run high. 3,000 workers getting raises last fall that were taken away after DPS says they weren't calculated properly. Tonight, the board bringing in former Mayor Steve Shule to try and move things forward. The board chair hoping for a breakthrough and insisted they're moving as quickly as possible. This is about our students. It's about our families. It's about the whole Durham community that's counting on all of us to show up. Right? And all of us have to work together in order to make that true and that real. So I'm just asking for that two way street. But instead, much of the meeting devolved into who would be on the other end of that two way street. With the Durham Association of Educators leading the charge, another group of transportation staff who had been leading the call outs that led to school closures walked out of the meeting, telling Eyewitness News DAE doesn't represent them. We have a lot of issues that's going on in, in our department and as a whole as well. But um, we felt like we were unheard and we was disrespected. We didn't have a seat at the table and we was promised a seat at the table. After watching those staff members walk out and having DAE refuse to disclose how many members they actually have, the board voting to create a compromise. A new work group will be named starting at next week's board meeting, made up of two board members, two administrators, and eight DPS staff members that would be evenly split, four selected by the DAE and four others. Union leaders telling us despite the walkouts, they're hoping this new group can move things forward. And we'll continue to reach out to every sector of DPS, transportation, cafeteria workers, classroom teachers, counselors, the whole gamut. Yeah, so the bottom line here is after all that was discussed, they didn't even uh, mention the budget at all. Um, but uh, again, the next step here is uh, they are going to have that next meeting coming up next week, a week from today. That is when we will find out uh, who is going to be serving on that newly named committee. But again, this is not likely to make any, any kind of impact in those March paychecks. Again, we will have to wait and see who is uh, named to that board. But we are told that once it gets formed, they'll be able to meet every week and hopefully try and make more progress.